All students at College of Eastern Idaho have free access to a research database called JSTOR. JSTOR can be hugely valuable to you in doing research for a paper or a presentation or an essay. It is not necessarily particularly user friendly, but if you know a few little tricks, it can be very useful to you. And so I'm going to walk you through how to do a search using CEI's access to this JSTOR database search engine. And why would we do this? Because it's going to take you only to scholarly sources. It's going to take you to peer reviewed journals almost exclusively. And so you can be confident that if you find something that is relevant to your paper, essay, presentation through JSTOR, that it is going to qualify as a, a scholarly source. So how do we do this? I'm going to start at the beginning. So let's just search. Start by going to College of Eastern Idaho and clicking on the link and we're going to go to current students and down to library. Okay. Now in library, there is a link here called database search searches. So we're going to click on that. And right there is JSTOR. This is the Holy Grail. And so you click on JSTOR. Now, when you do that, it may ask you to identify yourself. And all you have to do to get access is to input your name, your, your basically your email address, your CEI email address, and the password that you use to get access to that CEI email through Outlook. And that will get you access here. I have already created an account for myself, so I didn't have to go through that step. If you have any problems with that, either drop me a note or drop the library a note or give them a call. Either way, I can help you if you don't need it to be done in, you know, in real time. Drop me a note and I can help you walk, walk through that. So let's say you want to, you're doing a an informative presentation or you're doing an informative or expository essay on the advantages of, of home ownership. Let's just start, start by searching that. So we're going to do advantages of home ownership and see what that comes up with. Okay, so what we see here is we have 34,119 results. Well, that's a bit much, yes. Now we can start to narrow it down. So what the next step is, because we want this to be fairly recent information, home ownership advantages in 1962 were not the same as they are in 2022, right? So let's go over here. This CE means just, it's essentially AD. I'm going to put in here 2015 through 2023. And see what that does for me. Now we're down to 3,400. Just for giggles, let's just see where it goes, what we can see here. Okay, this first one doesn't look helpful. That doesn't look helpful. Who owns street art? I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. This looks interesting. Home ownership and the American dream. And we can see here, I've got full access to it. Let's sort of open it up and see what we get. Okay, so this is from the Journal of Economic Perspectives in the winter of 2018. So recent, fairly recent. And this is a highly respected peer reviewed journal. And here is a full paper on home ownership and the American dream. What is it talking about? 
here it starts. For decades, it was a, taken as a given that an increased home ownership rate was a desirable goal. And then it goes through and it starts now talking about whether that's true or not. In this article, we take a detailed look at U.S. home ownership from three different perspectives. We first take an international perspective, comparing U.S. home ownership rates with those of other nations. The data show that U.S. home ownership rate is at the middle to lower end of the range to other developed countries, and, and so on. What we have here is a really great, broadly written, but research-based report, it looks like it's a chapter of a book perhaps, on the pros and cons of home ownership. All you need from this for the essay or the presentation or the paper is, is to have find, find something that you can perhaps cite that is that provides you some new perspective, gives you a, a direction to think about and to, to go toward or away from, uh, but mostly it is now giving you a place to go that is based on scholarly research that can be fully cited and useful in your assignment. So what I encourage here is start with Google Scholar, use that as that's, I've talked about that in another presentation, another lesson. But when you get down to needing one or two more scholarly sources for your assignment, you can go here. And as you ex as you experience, as you go through college more and you get into the junior and senior level courses, you're going to find that you're going to use JSTOR quite a bit, probably, uh, depending on the, the direction you're going to go. So it's helpful to get some basics down. Try this just, and if you get stuck or frustrated, don't stop, reach out to me, connect with the library and give it a try. And I think you're going to find that it is quite useful.